Hey everybody, in this video tutorial I'm gonna show you how to use the Scraper ChatGPT plugin to scrape content from web pages or websites by providing a URL. Alright, so before I would show you an actual example on how to use the Scraper ChatGPT plugin, let's see some of the use cases of the Scraper ChatGPT plugin. So I have a full tutorial on ryhex.com that you can check out on this ChatGPT plugin. And in that article, I also talk about some of the best use cases you can use this ChatGPT plugin for. So let's go over some of them. So you can use this plugin to scrape news articles from different sources to create a personalized news feed. You can scrape product details, reviews and prices from e-commerce websites. You can scrape job listings from various job portals. You can scrape property listings for data on prices. You can use this to scrape social media platforms or brand mentions and sentiment analysis. You can use it to scrape competitor websites and a lot more as you can read here. And in that article, I also share some of the best prompts you can use this scraper ChatGPT plugin with. So make sure to check out this article in the description below. And you can also get access to a complete database of all currently available ChatGPT plugins that can be installed from the ChatGPT plugin store. You can search this plugin database by category, plugin name, description, and get quick access to ChatGPT plugin video tutorials, the best use cases and prompts for all available ChatGPT plugins. The database can be downloaded for free, but you can also support the maintenance and the frequent updates of the database with a small donation. Any support is appreciated. You can get access to this database by using the link in the description below. Right, but now let's see how to use the Scraper ChatGPT plugin. There is a process you have to go through if you haven't used plugins or the Scraper ChatGPT plugin before. So I'm going to go quickly over the steps of this process. If you don't know how to do any of this, I have separate tutorials on all of the steps of this process. So first, of course, you have to be currently a ChatGPT Plus subscriber to be able to use plugins in your ChatGPT account. Then you also have to enable plugins in your ChatGPT account. So you can select GPT plugins model from the model selector. Then click on new chat and by default GPT 3.5 is selected. You have to select GPT 4. Then select plugins from the drop down. Then we have to install the scraper plugin. And as you can see, currently it's installed for me. If it's not for you, you have to click on plugin store here and search for the scraper ChatGPT plugin and then install it. And last but not least, once the plugin is installed, all you have to do is check the checkbox next to the name of the plugin. So the plugin is enabled, so you're going to be able to activate it by using chat GPT. All right, so as a simple example, we're going to scrape our web page on the scraper chat GPT plugin. And I want to find out what are the links on this page that are not linking to the same website, so ROIHex.com, but are linking outside of ROIHex.com. So as you can see, all I had to add in the prompt is to scrape all links that are not linking out from this web page. And then I have added the URL. So whatever you want to do with the scraper plugin, add the URL. And before the URL, add the prompt you want to do with this plugin. Then click on send message. And so as you can see, you don't have to use any kind of functions. You can use natural language and the plugin and ChatGPT is clever enough to know what it has to do based on that general language. So as you can see, the plugin is activated. First, it gets the main parameters from your ChatGPT prompt. So the URL and the type of attribute it has to scrape. And now we have to wait a couple of seconds. So it will scrape the whole web page. So as you can see, it has scraped all links from this website. So this is the this is all the links found on that web page. We can close this out and these are the links that are linking outside of the web page as you can see here. All right, so all in all, this is how to use the Scraper ChatGPT plugin. If you want to learn more about this plugin, make sure to check out the article in the description below. And if you want to learn more about other ChatGPT plugins, so plugins for SEO, marketing, business, finance, cryptocurrencies, or anything else like that, I have a ton of tutorials on my YouTube channel and more are coming up. So make sure to subscribe. And also, if you want to get access to the complete ChatGPT plugin database that includes categories, searchable descriptions, and more, you can also find the link to that in the video description below.